Hello and welcome back to New Labels Only. Today we have another watch unboxing and our watch today comes from Tax Watches or Tax Images. They go by two different names, so Tax Watches or Tax Images. They are a Japanese brand and again, if you'd like to know more of the brand, we have a link in the description and we also have done a detailed review of the watch. So the watch today we have is an ATL lens, in other words, an automatic twin lens watch. Uh, this is the packaging it came in. Pretty basic, pretty simple, and you have all the detail here. So you have a skeleton watch, sapphire glass, a rotating bezel, automatic watch, water resistant, and made in Japan. So let's see what's inside. Again, you have the welcoming package tax, and then you have this. Nothing else inside. So let's get rid of the box. And this is the packaging. Very interesting, that's for sure. Uh, you have, I assume it's an acrylic cover. You have the tax logo, ATL lens, automatic twin lens. Uh, registered design. Oh, this is nice. You have a metal kind of panel here, or plate. It's engraved actually, with the design. Let me bring it closer to you. So this is what the watch is going to look like. And it's here on the side. Tag style, tag image, or tag uh, watches. And then you have the detail again from the watch. Again, a very interesting design with the box. Again, very new. We've never seen this before, but it's always good to be different. And tax images or tax watches have done it. I'm assuming this is fake wood. Again, perfect design, perfect packaging. We definitely like it. And you have the cover here. So let's remove it. So this is the watch. We'll get this in a minute. Again, the box has been engraved inside taximages.com. And then you have. Uh, the warranty card. So let's put that back and talk about the watch. So this is the watch. Uh, I need to remove the cover first. So this is a cover on the DAO. Uh, to be honest, we've never seen this before. I mean, we would, we would assume this comes from the retro style from the late uh, centuries, I believe. Uh, never seen this before, it's actually pretty interesting. I guess it does cover the dial pretty well and protect it from its scratches. So, let me give you a proper look. So, it does trap well and out around the dial, and you have this bit here, so it's open so you can see the crown. Interesting, very interesting. Again, we definitely like it. Again, you have this image here, and it is designed again. We're assuming that what the dial is going to look like. You have twin lens, and then you have a couple more engraving here. So let's see how it looks like. Okay, so this is the ATL from Tech Watches or Tech Images. Very, very interesting for sure. And um, when you read about the watch, the, the design of the watch, so you have a twin lens, so you have one here and one here. That's the twin lens. This design comes from a twin lens camera that we use in the 90s, and they have basically taken this design and add it to the dial of the watch. So if you can see it, you have the leather background. So hopefully this camera's picking up properly. So it's like a rectangular leather and you have the twin dial here. And again, it's open skeleton watch. If I were to bring it closer, you can see the detail even more. So here you have more detail about the twin lens. Here you have a tiny bit of the index and so here as well so not too much in terms of the index word there's not a lot not a lot not a lot of numbers going on again this is more to focus on the design of the watch rather than the numerals but it is very practical because you can see the numerals here clearly this side and this side and there's hidden features in this watch uh, this watch has 19 parts so if you were to go all around this watch and look at this watch carefully, there are 19 parts to this watch. And 
from the website it says there are 11 layers so it is a very interesting watch there's a lot of features going on in this watch but let's get to the design of the watch and let me should give you a proper look so this is the side you have the crown and the crown is actually protected from here and also on the design side you also have an index here so it's not on the actual so it's not on the actual dial but it's actually on the outer casing and here you have the and here you have the BHP of the watch so 2000 sorry not 2000 21,600 BHP so it's a strong movement and the crown has been signed with a tax style or tax image or tax watches or logo they do have a lot of tax and then again you have the crown protector so even the side is interesting again let's see the dial again the a lot of interesting features going on it's going to have some writing on the nine o'clock position which says hopefully the camera is picking up water resistant which is 1080 m and again you have the uh, the index here from the eight o'clock position to the ten o'clock position and on this side you have a tiny bit of index as we said before from the 3 o'clock position to the 5 o'clock position and on this side just as twin lens one interesting feature about the watch is supposed to be the bezel so let's see it does move and it is made from a 316 L stainless steel and that's what the bezel is made of uh, uh, the casing which I missed actually is also made from C uh, 316 L stainless steel so the bezel does move it is unidirectional it is quiet, no clicks at all. It is smooth. Again, there's no click. The main reason is because it's supposed to resemble the camera of zooming in and zooming out. So that's why there's no click. This is more for, uh, how say, it? more for feature purpose, not for use, basically. Again, this is more for feature to look good, and it does look good. In terms of the index, uh, sorry, the bezel, it does tell you. Uh, the dial the watch the, the casing in terms of the index it will tell you the width of the watch which is 46.5 millimeter in diameter and actually the width of the watch that's 14.8 millimeter so it's a thick watch and a very wide watch again we have a couple more features capture each moment again so again as we said it's supposed to resemble one of a camera zooming in and zooming out unfortunately my camera's not picking up properly let me try to adjust it there you go capture every moment anything on the side it has been given a teeth cut design but do you need a teeth cut design when the rotation of the bezel so smooth uh, I wouldn't think so and if this caught your glimpse of your eye it, the casing also has been marked with tax watches on the six o'clock position but what about this side it has been marked with ATL 000 now we're not sure what does a 000 and a zero mean but we assume it's the model number of the watch I mean in terms of the production number but we are not sure but in terms of the design of the little plate here it has been signed engraved and also has been given two screws to look good and it does look good so in terms of the movement inside, we have a 21 joule uh, Citizen Miyota 8N24. So it is a strong movement. It is This movement is usually good for skeleton watches. Uh, time accuracy, I would say plus minus uh, 20 seconds. We have done a full review on the time accuracy in our blog review. Do check it out. The link is in the description. So in terms of what else is involved in this watch, uh, the lens being used is sapphire crystal glass. Uh, the only good thing there's no reflection at all so the, the lens itself is not picking up the camera it's not picking up my face it's just picking up the and there's no glare so as you can see another interesting feature of this watch if I were turning around you will be amazed 
there you go so even the back of the watch has been given the same design as the front so the twin lens the lever everything so the back resembles the front the lever what i mean is from here so let me try to remove the there you go. hopefully you can see it properly now so the lever as you can see is from the outer casing here 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 and the, here the back is made from crystal glass and sapphire glass by crystal glass i just want to pick up the camera as you can see but in terms of aesthetic the back is actually pretty good some watches will be lucky to have the back casing as they're worn down actually it does look good in terms of the strap it's made from hoeen uh Halloween, hopefully i'm saying it right calf leather smooth supple so far uh does look like you need breaking into but we'll see we'll get we'll put in our wrist and we'll see uh it does have quick release pins uh this watch does come with actually not with uh so you do you do have the option of using stainless steel uh, bracelet uh that's up to you but we have the leather one black leather on gold uh, this is the retro gold model they do have another model uh do have a look on their website the watch is quite heavy we are looking at 130 gram but with the stainless steel uh, bracelet that will increase to 250 gram so it's quite a heavy watch but again the watch does look good in terms of the crown what do we have here the crown is a push it's a screw on crown actually not push it's a screw in crown screw down crown Again, the movement is a Miyota 8 and 24. Good movement. Uh, let's see. And then you just screw it, the crown in. Again, we have the protector. So if you were to put your uh, wrist there, it would just protect you from the crown. The crown, let me actually put it, take out so you can show it properly has been given a teeth cut design as well for easy use and easy access so pretty good Just push that back in and rotate it and then close it and that's done here so was this watch does look good i mean in terms of legible you can see the hand they have been given syringe design and they have been given Swiss Luminova coating, uh, not just on the hand, on the numerals you have here, this will light up at night, so the twin lens, this side, the hands will light up and also on this side. Again, do check out our blog post review where we are taking pictures in the dark and you'll see how well it lights up. So let's see the watch on the wrist. So this is the watch on the wrist. Bubble have been signed, all wind lever, and the 24 by 22 is the size of the strap. I uh, do have a small wrist as you have seen in previous videos, and I'm using a second to last hole. So if you do have a smaller wrist than mine, uh, again less than 17 centimeters circumference, uh, you'll be fine. And I did say we do have the case protector, I mean, not the case protector, the crown protector. And it's actually, I can't feel the crown on my wrist at all. So the crown protector is doing an absolutely fantastic job. It does feel nothing at all. In terms of comfort, uh, the strap does need breaking into. It's quite tough at the moment on my wrist. But it's comfortable, but it just needs some breaking into and that should be fine. The watch does stick out. Uh, again, this is, uh, it is, 14.8 millimeter in width so you will stick out from your wrist but the curve lug does help to push the case on uh, the wrist so it's not sticking out too much otherwise it's actually good leg legible wise it's fine i can read the the casing and the dial very effectively the design of the dial does not gain the weight of the hands i can read the hands more than fine actually it's a good it's a good looking watch for sure there's so many things going on in this watch and you just think how did they manage to fit so many parts again 19 parts and 11 layers in this watch how did they do it how oh, we have no idea but it's, it's an absolutely stunning watch it does look good it 
it does feel good as well. There is again 130 gram. You can feel the weight of it. It is a strong and bold watch. It is thick. It is nice. It is comfortable, and it is a stunning looking watch. I mean, this watch will definitely attract attention, and there's definitely guaranteed on that. I mean, you can see the twin lens has been fantastic. And one thing, I don't think the camera's picking up actually the top lens. This one's actually quite. It's been having a dome design. So if you look at your camera lens, so that dome kind of curvature has been given on the top here but the camera's not picking up as much but if it, yeah, yeah in front of the camera's not picking up but hopefully you can see it this way it's lack curvature but it does look good uh, again the leather background again resemble the twin lens camera if you have never seen a twin lens camera just look it up on google and then you will see the similarity on the lens to that camera it's exactly the same it's a good looking watch, pretty good, movement is good, everything is good in this watch, it just looks fantastic. Uh, again, we have done a full review of the watch where we talk about the pricing, everything. Uh, if you'd like to know about the pricing, uh, we're going to be a bit cheeky, do read our blog review to find out. And also, look at the pictures, again it does, this watch does look good during the night, we're not, fan we're not big fans of Luminovas or uh, night lights or whatever but this one does a good job you can see it the numbers the dials the hands they do stand out in the dark do see the picture and you'll be surprised again this was the review of the TAC watches or TAC images or TAC style and then they go with two or three names uh, this is the ATL automatic twin lens retro gold thank you for watching see you next time